Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm working on a freelance project in the background and I needed to create a QR code. So I learned how to do it. So I wanna teach you guys how to do it too. It's really simple actually. So in order to get started, first off, you need Xcode. So open Xcode, create a new Xcode project. And once you're in there, we have all our basic files, but we need to create a new file called the QR code view. Within this QR code view, we want to import Swift UI and we also want to import core image dot CI filter built ins. Basically this core image has a built in way to generate a QR code. So we want to access that and we're going to use that in our app. So in order to get this view, we're going to say struct QR code view colon view open curly bracket close curly bracket in the which we put our body and we want to throw an image inside of the body. And with this image, we want to put in a UI image. And what UI image are we gonna put in there? That's where it comes in another function. So we're gonna create another function down here called generate QR code image. With this QR code image, we wanna build this QR code off of a string value or a URL that you wanna access. So what a QR code does, it's gonna take this string that we feed in there. It can be anything, a URL, a string value, any type of string value. We're gonna take that and turn it into data in the which we're gonna turn it into an image that's readable by a QR code reader, or you can just use like the camera app from iPhone as well. It'll recognize QR codes now. Now in order to take this data or that string and put it into a QR code, we need to create a filter. So we're gonna say let filter equal CI filter dot QR code generator. Once that is created, you're gonna go back into your function here. And we also wanna make sure that our function returns a UI image so we can use it inside of our body. So we're gonna say filter dot set value for key in the which this will be the input message. This is accessing a key within the filter that we're putting our data into. Now, what data are we putting into our input message? This is going to be our URL, but we just need to transform it a little bit into something readable by the filter. So we're going to say let data equal capital data, open parentheses, URL dot UTF eight. So we're going to say filter dot set value for key in the which this will be the input message. All right. So now once we have this filter, we want to go ahead and grab a QR code out of it. So how do we do that? We're going to say if let our QR code image equal our filter dot output image, open curly bracket, close curly bracket. Now this QR code image here is a CI image. It's not something that's actually readable by a user interface. So what we need to do is convert this into a CG image. So in order to do that, we need to go ahead and create a context. We're gonna say let context equal a CI context. Then we're gonna take this CI image and filter it through this context. So we're gonna say if let QR code CG image equal context.createCG image, in which our image is going to be, of course, our QR code image, and then from our QR code image.extent. Now this is the final image that we're gonna return. So we're gonna say return our UI image, open parentheses, CG image, and we're gonna feed in our QR code CG image. Now, if for some reason this fails or something doesn't work, we also wanna fall back on something. So we're just gonna say return UI image, system name X mark. If nothing works, we're just going to revert back to an X mark on our image. And with this, this is the whole way that we generate our QR code. Now we take this function and we're going to put it inside of a readable image. So we're going to go back into our body and we're going to say generate QR code image with a URL. Now I want this to be expandable, right? So I'm going to go ahead and say var URL colon string. That way, anytime I create a QR code view, I'll have to feed in that URL. And then we just put that right inside of our generate QR code image function. And so that it was a little bit messed up at the bottom there. So we'll go ahead and say, instead of saying else, you just want the return to come after the if statement. And that should work. Now, if we go back over to our content view, let's go ahead and put our text inside of a V stack. And below our text, we're going to put in our QR code view in the which I'll put my own website as the URL that we want to link to. And now once that's done, as you can see, it's a very tiny image. So let's go ahead and try to make the image a little bit bigger. So we're gonna say dot resizable and then dot frame uh, in one of which our width is going to be, I'll say 150 and our height 150 as well. And we'll put it in the center. Now, as you can see, we have a QR code image, but it kind of looks like garbage. So what do we need to do? We need to go back to our image and we're gonna say dot interpolation is equal to none or dot none. Um, if you have it as high, you'll notice that the image is fuzzy. It's because it's trying to take that little image that we did have and make it bigger. And it's trying to fill in the pixels in the meantime. But with that, it creates that fuzziness. So if we don't have that interpolation, it's just going to take those squares and blocks that we normally have in a QR code and just size it up without any like fake pixels in there. 
At least that's the way I understand it. But now that we have that, build and run it, and you should be able to see a nice, clear QR code inside of your application. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, subscribe. If you want this code, it's on my website and be sure to leave any suggestions for future videos like this. This was a quick tutorial and I would love to do some more like this in the future. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.